In this scenario, we will be creating an advanced smart object that will surface data from a Microsoft Azure SQL Server database. The data we want to surface is going to come from an existing customer table. I have already generated the service instance and service object for this table with the SQL Server service type pointing to a SQL database in Azure. With a browser open to K2 Designer in the Browse area, we need to select a category that will store the smart object. So in this example, let's choose the smart objects category under customers, then right click and select new smart object. In the smart object general tab, let's provide a name of customer list in this case, and we'll add a description for what this smart object will render. The category will already have a location since we started from the category by right-clicking on it first. If you don't happen to see this when you go through this step, set the category accordingly. From the Type section, choose Advanced Smart Object, then click Create to move on. In the Properties and Methods page, notice that we have the Service Object Explorer pane on the left. We can use this to create a smart object from the existing service object referencing the customer table. Let's expand the K2 Tutorial Sample Database category from the Service Object Explorer. Here you can see the available database objects that include views, store procedures, tables, and all of their methods that you may want to use in a smart object. Let's start with the list method from the customer object. On the Customer Details Properties and Methods panel, we can select the Methods tab. You can click the Add button to open the Service Objects panel and browse to select the Azure SQL Database Instance and List method from the Customer Object, or you can drag the List method from the Customer Object over in the Service Object Explorer pane on the left and drop it into the Methods section of the Customer Details Properties and Methods pane, which I'll actually do next. Either approach will take you to the Add Method window where you can set the method details and configure service object method parameters. The method details name defaults to the name of the method from the object that you dragged over with a basic description and the type set to list in this case, which is the default setting for dragging a list method over like I just did. Let's leave the name and type value set to their default values and not add any specific service object method parameters for now and click Next. The Inputs and Outputs section now lists the available input and return properties for the customer object. The input properties can be used to provide values when needing to filter return data using list methods, in forms, or workflows. They will also be used when creating, updating, or deleting data with create, delete, update, or read methods if those are implemented later. Notice in this window as well that the properties show the type of data they are, whether any input properties are required fields, and also notice the bound to column. The bound to column will show the smart object properties that map to the underlying data source tables properties. We'll see how that works next. In this scenario, we really just want to return and represent all of the properties from the customer table. In other words, here we want to use every field available from the service object shown for our smart object. To do this, simply click the Create All button from the toolbar at the top of this section. From there, the designer will create all the necessary smart object properties for you and map them to the associated service object properties. Notice that all the smart object properties have been created now and mapped to their corresponding service object properties. From this point, we can click Next to move on. In the Add Methods Service Object Methods pane, you will see the defined list method for the customer database table object based on the associated Azure SQL database service instance. We can click Finish to return to the Customer List Smart Objects Properties and Methods tab. Now, in your case, as you work through this in your own environment, you can add more methods here as needed. This next area will show the Methods tab containing the list method for the Customer List Smart Object. Upon clicking the Properties tab, notice all the generated Smart Object properties that the designer just created. We will discuss associations in the next topic, so for now, I'll click the Finish button to save and deploy the customer smart object out to K2. Upon doing this, the designer will return to the K2 Designer Browse window and show the customer smart object, 
where it can now be used to build smart forms and workflows.